fitness is a sport um, for a couple different reasons. Um, it's measurable. So if you can have a number of humans perform certain tasks and you have some of them that are better than others and you have a measurement of that task, you have a sport. I used to be a former gymnast most of my life. I started out playing soccer and running track, and then uh, later on I started doing competitive cheerleading. I grew up playing rugby union and surf lifesaving in Australia, so I competed at a uh, national level. I was a competitive alpine ski racer. I was on the national Canadian national ski team. I also played golf and soccer. So these six different tests are all things that people will do in fitness at a gym, but to my point, out of a thousand people that do that one test, there'll be some that can do it better than others. Hence, you now make it a sport. From the sporting perspective itself, uh, what we have done to the sport is add a little bit of structure. So that started with the book, the rule book and the movement standards. Um, up until we did it, there was never a book of movements, a written book of every single movement in the sport and how it would be judged. So um, we put that together and that sits on our website. 24-7, uh, basically. And if you don't know what, how a movement is gonna be judged, you can go and look at it. Um, if something is not in there, then you can know it won't show up in competition that season. Why we created the tests, we organized it philosophically, believing that the six tests, and this is important, would allow the coach and the athlete to not only know what they need to prepare for, but to build a lifetime of sport opportunity because the six tests are what we're considering balance. Every competition is different workouts, but the workouts have um, like a structure. The structure of the sport is what separates it from some of the other functional fitness sports that are out there. You know going into a competition that every single facet of fitness is gonna be tests because they have standardized uh, like formats for each different workout. We're essentially focusing on making the philosophy of training be balanced. It allows coaches and athletes to like grasp onto knowing what they're training for. The idea is that you're well-rounded. You can pick up a heavy weight when called upon or you can you know, run for miles if you need to. Obviously with functional fitness, they're testing all the modalities. You're, you're fit across all planes. I mean, you can run, you can lift, you can do it under duress. It really encompasses everything. So. By having those, it creates some structure, it becomes a known thing, and then a 15-year-old and a 22-year-old and anyone can look at it and go, that kind of makes sense.